Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope everybody has heard about the first AI software engineer named as Devin, the CEO of Cognition AI himself provided a specific demo and right now it is there available in Twitter and some other social media platform. But just by seeing the demo, definitely the AI is able to do all the tasks that is specifically required by a software engineering, software engineer guys, right? Whenever we develop a product and many more things from documentation to development. So first of all, uh, let's go ahead and probably see the entire demo of this specific video uh, that how Devin is able to act as a software engineer and perform all the tasks out there and then we will try to see that how the future of software engineer looks like after seeing this specific video so let's go ahead and see the video hey Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement reruns the code with the debugging print statement and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. All of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. It's a really hard problem, and we've only just started, but we're super excited about the progress that we've made so far. In the meantime, if you'd like to try out Devin on your own real-world tasks, send us a request below, and we'd be happy to forward it to Devin. So guys, great. I hope everybody has seen this specific demo video of Devin. And from what I see, yes, uh, with respect to all the task, right? The the kind of task that is probably given to, to Devin was to compare Llama 2 model from various APIs, right? Like, and probably check the performance and speed. Now over there, what it has done is that it is being able to browse, it is being able to see the errors and probably fix those kind of errors with respect to the ID there itself, it also has an ID. So it has actually provided a complete integrated environment, whatever things are specifically required for a software engineering from API testing to deployment, everything was available over there. And by that specific interaction, it was able to do a fabulous task. And when I say with respect to time, I hope the time was also very much faster when compared to a normal software engineering now uh, this kind of task obviously uh, if i probably see with respect to efforts there will be some efforts that will be required by a human being but with respect to difficulty what i feel is that the difficulty is still less you know so in the future i don't know like if we really have a very difficult problem statement to probably work in in the software engineering how we may be working or how this specific tool will be working uh, after this tool probably comes out we will be able to check it out you know so obviously if you really want to check out this particular tool as said that you can also go ahead in their website and probably request for those particular access and then you can also try it from your side now again the future of ai agi and right now you're seeing a software engineer right a ai software engineer which may probably replace many other people you know because with respect to software engineering also right there are many people who is involved in developing a bigger products right there will be a team of 20 30 people based on the type of product that you're specifically working in and there are a lot of tasks and just by seeing this entire environment which is integrated all together with each and every one like you have command prompt access you have the deployment access you probably have all the cloud access you have the browser access and automatically the ai is able to do it um, right now this looks you know yes they are able to do the specific task but again when a very hardcore task is probably given i don't know how they are going to perform uh, but yes uh, this looks a little bit dangerous what i see but i still feel that uh, we human being can do much more better yes we may take some time to pr to probably develop a good product you know for thinking purpose for documentation purpose and many more things uh, and i don't think so still ai probably uh, AI software engineer can replace a normal software engineer unless and until uh, you know that kind of task is quickly being done by the AI itself but still a kind of I don't know uh, a lot of statements will probably come over here and many people will think that AI job may go there are chances um, but this looks really a little bit of dangerous kind of stuff you know where you are able to see all these things in front of your eyes uh, but again 
don't know what will happen in the future so let me know what are your point of view with respect to this but i still feel i have that that confidence towards the human side when compared to ai but yes uh, uh, when this tool will probably roll out in the market definitely will be able to compare it a lot so i hope you like this particular video um, this was it for my side and yes uh, as i said uh, always my stand will be towards more towards the human side when compared to the ai uh, yes ai is good enough to probably do your task much more faster but i feel ai should not replace human being so yes, this was it for my side i hope you like this particular video i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all take care bye bye